Hi there, this message is for AOC. Uh, just wanna express my disappointment, honestly, AOC. Um, you've been making bad decisions, in my opinion, and and the latest one that I found out today, I think this this happened last year. You were you were uh, I think you committed to marching with the Amazon workers protesting Amazon working conditions in in New York, and then you bail on them. I heard from what I know, according to Christopher Smalls, uh, you bailed on them and uh, you didn't even offer an explanation or they reached out to your office. You didn't even have a you you. You didn't even bother to tell them why. And uh, it's just suspicious at, at best as to why you're behaving this way, honestly. I mean, you brought up when you were, when you first got elected, you brought a lot of hope to a lot of average working people around the country, not just in New York, but around the whole country. And uh, people, you know, who, who care about humanitarian stuff and, you know, humanitarian rights and all that. and human rights and you just you just keep disappointing honestly uh, not everything you've done in Washington is bad but it's, this is just uh, it's like the third or fourth decision you made that makes us you know raise our eyebrows at the very least I, I just said the Amazon workers that you bailed on didn't even offer an explanation why that's just the latest. Before that, what did you do? Oh, you switched your vote regarding the Iron Dome funding for Israel. You switched your vote from no to present. Why did you do that? You know, you do know most of us view, it, view that as a cowardly vote, right? What else did you do that before that? Um, or the, you using some of the donations that you got through your, I guess, I guess you have a pack or something, courage to, to change or something like that. Some organization that you have to supposedly help Democrats, but, uh, you shouldn't be helping just any Democrat. You know, you're not, you're not considered the same you consider a progressive Democrat as opposed to other corporate Democrats. We don't consider you the same as Pelosi or the same as, uh, what's that dude's name that opposed uh, Build Back Better? I'm blanking on his name, but uh, yeah, we consider you Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley. Ilhan Omar, different from Pelosi and her her types. What's that dude's name? Jeffrey. Oh God, I I hate it when I blank on names. But uh, yeah, we know you're the minority. We know it's hard. We know progressives don't have a are not the majority in in Congress. We know you're 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 uh, one of the few standing against not just Republicans, but corporate Democrats. And, uh, and the corporate media. So we know it's, uh, it's not easy, but you gotta pick a side. You're either with them or you're with the working people. And uh, like I said, it feels like you're, you're against us sometimes. Why, or not against us, but you're letting us down. I don't know why you give money to corporate Democrats, money that working people are giving to you to help represent against to to hope to uh, to help uh, fight back against them. Connor Lamb, I mean, remember what Connor Lamb did? He gave you back your money because he thought you were an extremist. So not only did uh, they, they, they didn't pay off at all. People like him turning you down publicly, calling you an extremist, and then on, on top of that, you're disappointing your own side. I don't know why you made that move, but yeah.
that money that you gave to corporate Democrats from progressive donations, and then you vote present on the Iron Dome, you switch your vote from no to present, and then we find out you're turning down the, you bail on, on the Amazon workers marching in, in New York. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing all the way around. I mean, uh, you did vote the right way, I'll give you that. I mean, I think that was important when it comes to a vote. I think that's very significant too, so I, I will give you credit for voting no on, on the bipartisan infrastructure in, infrastructure bill or BIF. I'll give you credit for that, that you did cast the right vote. Uh, I think you also, are were you one of the persons that uh, petitioned uh, Merrick Garland to get involved in the Stephen Donziger ca case? I like to think you were, but I can't remember right now off, off the top of my head. It recently came out that 40 Democrats vote, uh, petitioned Janet Yellen to uh, let Afghanistan have access to their assets, to the $9.4 billion in assets that they have so they can feed the, the, their people over there. Uh, I don't know who, who those 40 Democrats are. I will assume, I like to think you were one of them. And uh, just if I had to guess, I will guess that you that you were involved. But so you know, not everything you're doing is bad. But why? What are you doing? Why are you voting? Why? Why did? Why didn't you march for these people? Why did you switch your vote? Why did you give Con Connor Lamb that money? And you know, I'm not. I'm not part of this crowd. But I'm. Um, I'm neutral on it. The whole force of vote issue. Something that you should have participated in force of vote or another saying that uh, you shouldn't have. I honestly don't know if, if it was the right move or not. You say it wasn't the right move, but uh, so far we're on the retrieve, honestly. We're not getting anything meaningful done in Congress or, you know, nothing's getting done meaningful. Build Back Better is down to nothing. Uh, even if it passed now, it'd be, it'd be, uh, it would just be crumbs compared to the original proposition. So, you know, it's, it's a mix back with you, AOC, and I just wanted to make that clear. And uh, I just, I don't think uh, I'm alone in feeling this way about you right now. Ciao.